Hey guys, Gaddick Teague here, bringing you a hard mode Dread Fortress boss guide. In this video, we'll take a look at the Operation's first boss, Nephra, who bars the way. Honestly, I don't know who gave him that title, because of my experience he lets everyone roll right past him, but Nephra has three very simple abilities that repeat over and over. Nephra also does not have an enraged timer, so as long as you're doing the mechanics properly, your group should have no problem defeating this pushover. As you pull, tanks should grab the boss and face him towards the stairs, with both tanks standing in front of him. Nefra does a cleave that splits the damage between the two players standing in front of him, so make sure your tanks are positioned right on top of each other to absorb this damage. DPS should spread out as much as possible, and be sure to stay away from the boss's front side. This will also help with the boss's next mechanic, the Overload Assault Droids. These droids are similar to the firebugs from the Thrasher encounter in Scum and Villainy, except they do not announce their target, they just run at someone and begin to set up the bomb. Once he begins casting, all players should run out of the red circle immediately. If a droid goes for the melee, tanks should kite the boss back a little bit, making sure to keep the boss facing the correct direction. The droid will spawn after the emotes send in reinforcements, so keep an ear out and get ready to move once you hear this. Finally, the boss will do a scream animation and place a 20 second dot on every member of the raid that will tick for a little over 2000 damage a second. The key is that this is cleansable by any type of cleanse as well as any other ability that removes negative effects on yourself. Before the fight, every player that has a cleanse, including DPS, should be assigned a certain number of players to cleanse as soon as the dot goes out. That's really all there is to it in Nefra who bars the way. As long as your group is awake and halfway competent, it should take no more than a few attempts to get this guy down. I hope you find this video helpful and remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other SWOTOR boss guides. Thanks for watching.